goal is really to agree on how states can cooperate better in dealing with this challenge. The truth is that at the current moment, it's a very small number of states that have to manage the very large movements. Only six countries out of 193 host more than half of all the refugees uh, in the world. There are only 10 countries that provide 75% of UN funding uh, to deal with the refugee and migration problem. So what's clear, if we really want to deal effectively with this problem, there have to be better agreements between states on how to deal with this in a coordinated, communal way. In some cases, those agreements already exist, and it's a question of implementing them uh, appropriately. I think a second uh, key goal is a greater recognition and a greater commitment to make human rights the principal um, lens through which to respond to the current movements. Uh, over 50,000 migrants are documented to have died over the past 15 years trying to reach safety and a better life. Uh, that's a huge tragedy and I think we hope the international community uh, will come together to uh, make a commitment to protect um, all those uh, on the move um, in a better manner. Well, I think it's a little like climate change. First, there has to be uh, a full recognition that this is a global challenge. This isn't just a challenge of the states that happen to uh, be neighbors um, to places where there's a natural disaster or war or extreme poverty. Um, migration, uh, refugee flows is uh, a global um, uh, phenomena and needs to be addressed through global cooperation. I think that's most important. The second, I think, key ingredient is for people to recognize while this is a challenge where large numbers come into unprepared communities and then we need to make that all quite concrete we need to find very practical ways to give reality to the notion of sharing responsibility and one of those would be to create a basis for example to look at how the Secretary General's target of allowing 10% of all refugees, 1.5 million or 2 million people a year, to be resettled through existing resettlement places. So to look, to create the basis for very concrete mechanisms to give reality to this notion of responsibility sharing. So the Secretary General has already made a very strong lead in speaking out against not only the inappropriateness of xenophobia from a human rights perspective, but also how misplaced it is in terms of experience. Migrants are often those who contribute most, who have the hardest work ethic and contribute most to their host communities. What we're looking at, if member states are forthcoming with their support, is a much more ambitious global campaign that would try and do three things. First, show through examples um, the contributions migrants have made to all societies historically. So to try and um, de-demonize the notion of the bad, dangerous migrant and show what contributions have been made. Try and celebrate and recall that most families, certainly in Western Europe, um, at one stage in their history have benefited um, from migration. Secondly, to promote direct encounters. There's a lot of social science research that shows that to the extent people actually get to know each other, are actually exposed to migrants in the workplace, uh, in family encounters, the level of prejudice is dis diminished. The prejudice often comes from ignorance. And in the same vein, a lot of the prejudice is built on misinformation. In one critical area where there's an awful lot of misinformation, is this idea that migrants are um, a weight on the economy, uh, reduce um, the welfare state, and uh, most research shows exactly the opposite, at least over time, 
um, migrants often enter in those sets of, se sectors of the economy where others don't want to go, and as taxpayers, and especially in aging societies, are a critical ingredient to ensure the growth of economies. So we want to set the record straight, we want to humanize the debate, and we want to remind people that uh, we're all humans, and the truth is that most of us in our DNA are pretty much also all migrants.